What's going on guys? So tonight we are going to give you a little tour around our workshop. You guys have been asking for it, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. And this is where we're converting our 2014 Sprinter into a beautiful camper van. Let's take a look around. So first up, down here we have our brand new mitre saw that we're super stoked with. We picked this up from Screwfix and it's been amazing. This thing has been really good for cutting all of the battens for our flooring in our sprinter and it's going to come in very useful when we do loads of joinery and building cupboards and stuff like that inside the van. And next up we have our insulation station. This is where we store, this is where we cut all of our insulation and this stuff is brilliant. As you can see, we've got quite a lot left over. We have pretty much finished our insulation process apart from the roof. So we're gonna use 50 mil on the roof, but we have a hell of a lot of 25 mil left. So we are thinking possibly to use it under the bed to keep the bed nice and warm from the garage area. Let us know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. So around the other side of the van, there's not much going on, but we have just taken delivery of our brand new off-road tires, we're super stoked to see them on the Sprinter. I think it's gonna be a world's first. In all seriousness, we do wanna get some off-road tires, so please let us know if you have any recommendations. So one thing not to overlook when you're doing a van conversion is a vacuum cleaner. You are gonna need one. We have used this thing every day, five times a day, and we borrowed it off B's mom. So thank you very much for lending us the Hoover. Hopefully you'll get it back in one piece. Okay, and going on to the end of the van, we have our old bulkhead that we have no idea what to do with. I think it's just gonna to go to the scrapyard. You know, there's not a lot of use for an old bulkhead, really. Loads of old ply that we're gonna to use to do the stencils so that we can cut out our tongue and groove that is gonna be really nice in the van. We love the tongue and groove look. We love the rustic look. So we're going for like a clean, rustic feel on our camper van conversion so we're so excited to see it come together because even holding these little bits of tongue and groove up against the wall just brings it to life. So one of the things that's really important to have in a workshop is a mountain bike just like us. If you get bored you can do a few bunny hops, take any anger out, it's good fun. So right now we are in the tool shed, we've got lots of tools lying on the floor, it's not great, it's pretty messy. When we get back from Camp Quirky, we're gonna build a nice bench so that we can keep all of our tools together, but we've just been so busy over the past week, we haven't had time, but it's really important to stay organized, so we need to stick by that. Also, knee pads. Knee pads are a winner. So you might be wondering where we go to the toilet when we're working all day in the workshop, and we go to the toilet just in front of the van. You know, we had to make do, this place doesn't have facilities. And when I'm sitting here on the toilet, I sit with my wood chisel and contemplate why I used it to get a metal bolt out. But in all seriousness, we live literally in the middle of nowhere and this is all I could get my hands on. So basically we did this video to help you guys out because you were asking how we managed to find this workshop. If you haven't guessed already, it's a barn. It's on a farm and it's brilliant. I can't say a bad thing about it apart from the dust. There's a little bit of dust that falls on the van, but that's, that's not a problem at all. We're gonna wash the van every so often. So that's not a problem. Basically, we knew someone who knew someone, and that's what it's all about. It's all about going out and asking farmers, asking people with land. You know, you might know someone who owns a plane hanger or, you know, a farmer a garage, anywhere that you can get out of the weather, especially in the UK, because we have managed to do what we've done so far on this build in a week, and we just wouldn't be able to achieve that if we didn't have a roof and power, you know, every day, which has been amazing, really has. It's been a little bit toasty in here the last few days because it's been really warm, but we can't complain. We just roll the shutters up, and it's a lovely breeze coming through. So my advice to you would be to get out there, go and speak to people, 
ask about, look online. I searched and searched and searched online. Couldn't find a whole lot until I got talking to actual people. That's the best thing. You know, someone will know something. Okay guys, so when we hit 100K, we did a video saying we were gonna do a giveaway for you all because even though it was a celebration for the both of us, it was also a celebration for all of you lovely people for subscribing to our channel and we really are very thankful for you for watching our videos, subscribing, liking, commenting and just being generally really lovely people. So we've got quite a few different things to give away and we've put them into three different categories basically. We've got some really cool hiking gear for you here. We've got the Neo Air, Venture mat, which is just absolutely fantastic. Me and Theo both use the Neo Air mattresses. They pack down to nothing and they're super comfy. And then with that as well, we've got a seal line, dry sack, and two pack towels. They're really lightweight, small, and fantastic. Then in the next bundle, we've got an MSR pocket rocket stove and a really cute mug by Cali Camping, so you can make yourself a cup of tea wherever you are on the go. And finally, we've got some really cool swag from the guys over at Camper Van Culture. We've got a hoodie, a tow rope, stickers, and some other really cool stuff. So do go and check out their channel and subscribe. They've been to some really cool places in their van. And also California Camping, check them out if you haven't already. They're really lovely people, and it's so lovely to include other YouTubers in our 100 100k celebration so check them out and if you want to enter the competition all you've got to do is check the pinned comment for how to enter head over to the indieproducts.com forward slash shop and check out our new merchandise join us on patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video